there are eight types of waste in the process. What are the eight, type, eight types of waste? Intellect, errors, inventory, waiting, motions, transportation, overprocessing, and overproduction. Now, none of your projects has got uh, anything related to do with the cycle times. So this you can avoid for the time being, but if you are doing a project related to reduction of cycle time or time taken to complete an activity, then in that case, like for example, time taken to finish your course material. When you are studying how to finish your course, instead of now you are taking 50 hours, how to finish it in say 30 hours or you know, complete your studies faster. So in this case, you have to identify eight wastes in your processes. So intellect, waste of intelligence, intelligence means in an industry, an engineer who is uh, uh, doing something which other person can also do, and he's not uh, applying his engineering skills, but you know, end up just writing emails and replying to emails. That is waste of his intelligence or skills. So that is one example of wastes. Uh, intellect means uh, ideas not being acted upon. So you have got lots of ideas in your company. People have got lots of, uh, uh, you know, uh, things to implement. They can give lots of ideas, but no one listens to those ideas. That's waste of intelligence. Errors, any errors, mistakes is a waste. Okay. Then inventory. Inventory means anything which is excess, bought in access, and it is of no use. It's not being used. That is an inventory. Waiting time means I'm waiting for you to complete your job. Like most of the jobs in our, in our organizations are in sequence, isn't it? Like first step, then second step, third step, fourth step. So if one step is slowed down or if one step, a step is overburdened, if one step is taking too much time to complete one uh, the work, then the next step will be waiting for it. So that's a, a waste of motion. Then we have got uh, transportation waste. Transportation waste means anything. Motion and motion means any body movement which is of no use and it is of uh, not, uh, uh, it, is, it is not adding any value. That is waste of motion. And then transportation. Transportation means any uh, goods being transported from one place to another place, but the customer is not willing to pay for unnecessary transportation, we mean to say. In that case, we say that it's a waste. Uh, 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 transportation transportation means any transportation which is not being uh, paid for by the customer it is a waste over processing means you are delivering or you're doing something which the customer is not asked but you are trying to make him happy thinking that customer will be happy but customer you know, has never asked for that service so you know if you are doing something more than what is required over polishing your product that means it's a waste and overproduction means producing more than required. So you should always pr produce just in time and you should always produce the material which is required by the customer. You should not produce anything which is not required by the customer. So that was one thing. Then FMEA you have already seen. You already are aware of what is an FMEA. Now let me talk about once you have got the root causes. So what has happened here is you have got the root causes and once you have got the root causes, yes. Once you have got the root causes, and in that case, you have to brainstorm. So what are the various ways of uh, brainstorming? So I'll show you some uh, uh, methods of brainstorming and getting the ideas. The one is uh, very popular, which is known as 635 techniques, means uh, you invite six people to write three ideas in five minutes. So six people write three ideas in five minutes. Everyone gets a piece of paper. So let us say that uh, we have got uh, Aditi, Nisha, Sanchita, Trishita, Mugilan, and Nitin. So I invite all six of them and I give them a piece of paper. And I tell them, write any three ideas. Three ideas to uh, say uh, one of the X factors of uh, sal salary improvement would be, uh, I suppose, attendance. If the attendance is high, the salaries will be higher. Okay. And uh, it has been proven you know, worldwide. A lot of data has been collected worldwide that uh, if the uh, attendance in the classroom is higher, what will happen? The salaries of the students are higher in those uh, institutions. So it has been uh, data has proven that uh, the institutions 
which exhibit higher salaries, higher average salaries uh, around the world, it has been found that uh, students have been sincerely attending the classes. So that is one data. So now we have proven that, of course, we, uh, which, which uh, in this case, you'll have to do a, uh, a scatter plot, isn't it? A scatter plot, like higher the attendance, higher the salaries. It should go, go uh, the graph should look like this. And uh, once uh, uh, attendance has been proven as the uh, X factor, so now you have to generate ideas of how to improve your attendance. So what I would do, I will give all the th six people, I will tell them to write any three ideas in the next five minutes on how to improve the attendance. After that is done, I will exchange the paper. So uh, let's say I had uh, uh, Nisha will give her, her paper to Aditi, Aditi will give uh, her paper to Nitin, and Nitin will give his paper to Mugilan, and so on and so forth. The Mugilan will give it to Trishita. Now, Trishita will uh, see what Mugilan has written, and Mugilan will see what Nitin has written, and then after that, you will, uh, this will trigger new thoughts in your mind. Okay. So when it triggers new thoughts in your mind, in the next five minutes, again, you will write three ideas. Yeah. After five minutes, you your paper will have three ideas you, written by you and three ideas written by someone else. So you have six ideas on your paper. So everyone has got one, one paper each and everyone has got six ideas written on those papers. Now you exchange your paper again. You give idea, you give your paper to someone else. And once that person has got, uh, receives that paper, the paper will be having now six ideas. The person reads those six ideas. And while reading those six ideas, this will generate new ideas in your mind. So once these new ideas are generated in the next five minutes, again, you write three more ideas. So this goes on and on till the time you receive back your own paper. So paper has been circulated to each and every person. So there are six papers. Remember that six papers circulated to all the six papers. They've, they've been exchanged with uh, almost uh, everyone. And then in uh, 30 minutes, you will generate around 108 ideas. So this is what uh, 635 technique means. This is known as 635 technique. Here, uh, as I was talking about the 635 technique, so let me show you a uh, The 635 method, how does it yes, work? Yes. The 635 method is a kind of brainstorming. We know brainstorming. A group of people are sitting together to collect ideas. Well, principally it works this way, but fairly chaotic and confusing the whole thing. The 635 method is a bit clearer and the process more structured. Six people write down three ideas in five minutes. After that, everybody processes his or her sheet onto his or her neighbor. They pick up the ideas from their colleagues and develop them further, or they vary them or add new ideas. This way, the sheets change hands five times. Okay, once again, but this time a bit more discipline, please. Let's put the problem on the table. What for are we collecting ideas with the 365 method? For this purpose, we need a concrete question. Uh -huh, a table is formed. Good idea. The paper chaos we have seen a little while ago was obviously not the right thing. Now, no idea can be dropped unnoticed. Well, let's start then. Each participant writes down three proposals on the first row of the sheet within five minutes. After that, each participant passes his or her sheet to the participant next to him. The sheet is passed on to the next participant and so on. Wow, we collected quite an amount of ideas. Each of the six participants has developed three ideas in five minutes per round. So we now have six times three times six ideas. But hang on a second. 
we could have done just as well half an hour of brainstorming, couldn't we? What are the advantages of the 635 method as written brainstorming? The method is very easy to use. The method does not require a moderator. The innovative potential of a group can be used. All participants are active and involved. No premature discussions. A useful idea is systematically developed further. The author of a creative idea can be identified. So many advantages. Are there also some disadvantages? Some participants might have problems describing their ideas concisely. Participants might feel pressured by the time limit of five minutes. It may generate less creative solutions because of the mostly individual nature of the contributions it does not take advantage of group discussions. Seven advantages compared to three disadvantages. The 635 method seems to be worth a try. Let's summarize everything once again. Six people capture three ideas each in written form. Each participant has five minutes time for his or her three ideas. Then the sheets are passed on. This happens five times, so that on each sheet, three original ideas has been specified or further developed by six people. That's it, just give it a try. The 635 method. We know how it works. So I hope you understood what is the 635 method. And this uh, video is also available on YouTube. Just uh, search for 635 method and you will get the video. Okay. Once this is done, now you can use any brainstorming technique. You don't have to use a 635 technique only. You can use any brainstorming technique, but whichever brainstorming technique you're using, uh, it should be following some rules that when you are generating the ideas, you should not be discussing the ideas. So while generating the ideas, you should not criticize each other. We should welcome each other's ideas. And uh, once ideas are generated, then you can choose the ideas. So that is very important because most of the time when people are giving idea, we start making fun of each other or we may start criticizing each other or we say oh it will not work or we start uh, we uh, just you know, unnecessarily we uh, support, sometimes keep supporting that idea without uh, much uh, logic so all these things are not permitted when you are generating the ideas so generation of idea is different and selection of ideas different now once you have generated the ideas then you can choose the idea now how to choose the idea Again, for that, you have to go to the next stage. Now, this next stage is known as solution selection matrix. You have to choose the idea, which idea I should be implementing. So for choosing the idea, solution selection matrix, I'll just give an example here. So let us say, can you tell me uh, any three ideas to in, in, increase the attendance? Just tell me any three ideas to increase the attendance. And it, a, 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 attendance is one of the critical factor of both for uh, increasing the salary and also improving the placement. 
So give me any three ideas or any two ideas, let us say, because let's not uh, spend too much time on, uh, let's say two ideas, any two ideas. So any two, oh my God, so many ideas. <laughs> Environment of class, group discussion, give extra score for attendance, group learning, interactive teaching, entertaining teaching method, uh, marks considered for attendance, reduce lecture duration. So grace marks for higher attendance, attendance carries marks. So even attendance carries marks later on, you know, people, you know what happens. So, uh, in, uh, so environment of class. So let us say change the environment of the class. Okay. So I'll just write it down, environment of class. So I'll, I'll just say redesign the classroom. Re, redesign the class. Okay. Another one is uh, using real life problems, 100% attendance certificate, using real life and uh, entertaining teaching methods. entertaining teaching method so i'll just write two of them okay fine so these are the two ideas which are possible ideas and i can't if i can't uh, implement any of these Let's say finally we have zero down on these two ideas. First, let us decide on the criteria of choosing a solution. What are the criteria of choosing a solution? Can you please tell me what are the criteria of choosing solutions? One period of interactive discussion and activities. Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Rishita is writing, if the teachers are like you, sir, attendance automatically increases. <laughs> okay. And then I should train the teachers. I'll run a class for teachers, you know, to train them. <laughs> okay. Let us look at criteria. What is the, yeah, tell me. Impact. Okay. Impact. Yeah, impact is important. But what, how, uh, look, okay, let's say impact. So I will just put impact of solution. Okay. What else? Practicality, okay. Practicality, okay. Cost, very good. Cost, time taken to implement, yes. Time less time consuming. That's what Madhir Gautam is telling. So time uh, uh, implementation time. I will just like implementation time. Okay. And feasibility, okay, practicality, feasibility is almost, so I'll just replace it by feasibility, more of. Okay. Ease of implementation, that is also good. Ease of implementation. Now, ease of implementation. Now, let us look at this weight how much weight you assign like if it is high medium or low high means nine medium means three and low means one so impact of solution high what, what do you think is it very important or medium important or low important impact on solution high okay so i'll put nine feasibility whether it is feasible or not Again, high, okay, someone saying three. So let's say three, okay, medium. Cost, cost of implementation. Now, if you are a very rich institute, the criteria of cost will be like one. But if it is, you are having, uh, uh, you know, you are, la you are having lack of funds, then your criteria of the, that cost is very important criteria, isn't it, for making a decision. So let's say you are, uh, you're having some funds, but not too many. So I'll say, or 
you have to tell me you're having lack of funds or okay so people are saying three okay so we have funds means yeah implementation time how important it is okay nine ease of implementation how important it is okay one it doesn't matter it's difficult also it's okay okay now redesign the classroom but redesigning the classroom what will be the impact will the attendance improve really will it really are you sure about it if you are very sure maybe say nine medium means three okay so three how about entertaining teaching method impact on the solution how much how much it would be okay it would be nine okay now feasibility redesigning the classroom how feasible it is one three or nine okay three how feasible it is to introduce entertaining teaching method again some people are saying nine some people are saying one okay doesn't matter i'll go by maximum people okay cost redesigning the classroom is it costly so it will score yes less if it is costly it will score less you know it is not very high score and entertaining teaching method is it costly no not at all so it will score high then implementation time redesigning the classroom it will take more time obviously so it will score maybe one an entertaining teaching method it may take a little bit lesser time so but still it will take time because people need to learn certain techniques and ease of implementation redesigning the class may be easier but uh, sorry here nine sorry nine and uh, of course here i'll just do three and this one uh, ease of implementation it is also not that easy but it's relatively easy so i'll say three so what happens we have a weighted score nine multiplied by three three into three and you can see that this is scoring higher marks so now we should start entertaining teaching methods so you will tell your professors to start dancing in the class <laughs> okay <laughs> that's what you meant isn't it <laughs> okay so uh, this is how you know you will uh, you can, you can make a decision so obviously now this uh, you don't have to use this tool uh, in your projects as of now because you can just give a suggestion uh, that you can give a solution that's it your project will end because you are yellow belt you are not green belt or black belt. and one more thing again your project ends here like from from yellow belt perspective i would say your project will end here where these are the ideas which you are suggesting that's it just give the ideas that's it if you want to apply this method few matrix solution selection matrix why not i've told you already because uh, if you are trying to you know make this a much much better project like a green belt you can use this no issues but it's not mandatory okay then finally oh, sorry this one is important this one this was my root cause attendance was my root cause what is the idea i'm giving the other one for salary reduction uh, let us say uh, uh, you know, uh, low salary uh, one of the root causes was what was the another root cause can you please tell me any other root cause management skills so management skills what is the solution everyone undergoes a management skills enhancement training program okay so here that's how you would like and of course in pet production also if you've got machine downtime what is the solution preventive maintenance so you have to write like that this is what is the most important and this can be the last slide for a yellow belt okay please uh, now these are the uh, the remaining slides are for green belts and black belts so you can skip that but i still you know 
explain them to you. So here, when you are a green belt or a black belt, when you are implementing a solution, you have to create a communication plan for the company. You have to indicate how many people are needed and while implementing this uh, solution. Uh, can I simulate the process? What's, what is the risk? Safety related risk and etc. What are the different risks? And then in that case, uh, uh, you are uh, also going to the budget. What is the budget, etc. So all these things are given here. So this will be, of course, this uh, will not be done by you. So you don't have to do this part. Then comes uh, the cost benefit analysis, which also you can skip, but just to tell you that when you are a green belt or black belt, you have to tell what is the cost of my implementation and how much uh, uh, money I'm going to save. And the subtraction of that will give you the net benefit for the project. So how many one crores, two crores, 20 crores, 30 crores you have saved. And that's how you do a project. And also put some control systems in place. Um, so how will you, you be monitoring the process once you know you have uh, implemented your solutions and uh, what are then what is the new sigma level so just imagine in your case that uh, your average salaries has now improved uh, as per uh, whatever you uh, uh, wanted and uh, once it has improved you know what is the sigma new sigma level that also is not uh, mandatory you can do it if you want so that will complete your project. So basically, uh, you have learned all the uh, real tools and techniques till yesterday. Today, you learned brainstorming. And additionally, what you have to do, you have to just update what are your solutions after FMEA. And after the, uh, if you are uh, making your cause and effect diagram, Pareto, et cetera, after that, what are your solutions? And once your solutions are there, you can always say that, I have implemented and the objective was achieved. Imagine as if you, uh, the objective was achieved. And no, you can delete those slides. Uh, uh, Nikhil is asking, you can delete those slides which are not being used. You can just delete those slides. Yeah. Sir, for knowledge purpose, can you please explain how the financial aspects are approached in the project? Financial aspects are approached like uh, pet production. It's very easy. A pet production earlier, I was uh, producing 100 tons per day, or let's say 500 tons per day. Now it increases to 550 tons per day. So additional 50 tons per day is giving me uh, 50 crores of uh, rupees. So just you know, go for that. So 50 crores, my project, you know, had additionally has generated 50 crores of rupees per and uh, rupees per annum. So all the benefits in the projects are comp uh, are uh, calculated based on the annual savings. Please remember that. Okay. Now I would like to see some of your projects. Uh, if you can just show me some of your projects. You don't have to complete any slides in control phase, Ashutosh. You don't have to complete any slides in control phase. Okay. Oh, okay. If you want, just at the most, you can imagine that, you know, you can just complete lessons learned basically what do you what did you learn from this project you can just complete that that's good enough so i would be happy if you just write the solutions up to here you know only up to here i'll be very happy this is what we are looking for this is the summary of your whole project if you just complete this means your project is successful and Busam, uh, those who have done till Pareto chart, they can show. Uh, those who have done till Pareto or even FMEA, uh, those who have done till Pareto and FMEA, they can show that. Or later on, we will give option of others or uh, uh, option to others also to show that. No. Meanwhile, while you are getting ready, uh, I, what I will do, I'll just pull out. Uh, uh, so I, I so what is remaining now? We have 45 minutes. So let us distribute the time. Uh, we will play Kaunmane uh, Kurodpati for 10 minutes. Then we will discuss the project for half an hour. So we can discuss the uh, project like towards the end maybe, and the change management part also. I will just talk about uh, in short.
for 10 minutes. So uh, other people, so I think Busam is one person who will be uh, 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 talking about this. Then we have got, uh, uh, who else is, who, uh, who else will be there? Yeah, please go ahead. Yes. Go ahead, go ahead. So these are the defined phase, okay. This is just stay on for the for some time. So, what is your PT uh, production, pet resin, company management, MEG, PTA catalyst, equipment, manpower, etc. Okay. That's fine. Go, go, go to the next one. Uh, this is measure phase uh, where, where we can uh, calculate the sigma sigma level process, and uh, this is uh, histogram plot. Uh, actually, you have seen yesterday this one. Like <coughs> we'll just mention pet production per day, and we'll get the plot like this for the various days. So. Yeah. This is our cause diagram, cause and effect diagram. Okay, that's good. And these are our. Uh, I remember uh, uh, last time uh, Apurva had done a very nice cause and effect diagram. I think uh, uh, it was Apurva's team only, right? Yeah. Oops. Yeah. yeah. And this is also a very nice cause and effect diagram, by the way, right? I just. <laughs> Uh, yeah, very nice. Very nice. This is absolutely fantastic. I, I'm liking it. Control impact matrix. Can you make it a little bigger? Can you? Okay, okay. Yeah. There is a presenter screen. You, have to, you can present it like full screen also. The right side. Present. There's a. Yes, that's, that's brilliant. Okay. Let me see that. Wow. So you have got your high. Yeah, I can see that. So natural uh, calamities, uh, environmental conditions, slide, calibration. Well, OK, that's that's superb. Very, very nicely done. And all the causes are very, very nicely classified. Of course, we are not in the classroom. Our, otherwise, you would have I would, I would have told everyone to give a very big hand to your team. But what is the team name? Team Cognition. Sorry, I can't hear. What is the team name? Team Cognition. Cognition. Cognizant. Oh, yeah. So you're cognizant of all the great facts. Wow. Can I slide? And uh, Akash is appreciating you too. That high and low with red and green. Great idea. Very nice. Super. Brilliant. Uh, yeah, I loved that. Okay, next next slide. Yeah, Pareto. Yes. So explain your Pareto. So when we have uh, when we came up, came across the cause and effects, uh, we just uh, got to know this uh, 80th line is comes under just uh, four like temperature, catalyst quality, and number of dumps extracted, and reflex ratio are the vital causes where we have got uh, many defects for it. Hello. Yeah, yeah, please. We are listening. You can tell. Sir is yeah, also yeah. listening. You can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anil, Anil is also there. So, yes, temperature. Then you have got uh, what is the second one? Catalyst quality. Quality. Then the third one. Number of drums extracted. Okay. And reflex ratio. And the fourth one, reflex ratio. Okay. Okay. So, see, reflex ratio is a good one, uh, and a very, very, very important thing. Uh, so, this is the base. This is the foundation. This is what you, the Pareto chart, is telling us that reflex ratio is important. Then I will go ahead and collect more data, and then in the reflex ratio, I will even get what is the best reflex ratio. I'm just sharing some of some of the information with you. 
but of course, as a yellow belt, you don't have to do all these things in your project. Okay? Very good. Nice, nicely done, perfectly done. Uh, Pareto, again, a very big hand to the whole team. Superb, brilliant, uh, fantastic. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy. The next one. Sir, actually, today we have done this and we got like this. This is yeah. scatter plot. So this, yeah. Scatter plot is uh, totally dependent so on temperature. Of production is totally depending on temperature. Where, uh, but which temperature? 270 is uh, actually melting point of polymer is 270 degrees. Okay. So if we increase the temperature, like pet production is also increasing. So like you can see here the scatter plots. Yeah. Increasing. Okay. Okay. So one half. Actually, so although sir, actually, want to, actually want to say that I don't have a particular data, but I can just say we have given a random data. Perfectly fine. I understand. I understand uh, your team is, I would say, again, I, I will applaud your team, but uh, 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 just, uh, you know, the, the, the thing is what your team has done is you have, you know, go back to the uh, schedule plot. So mm -hmm. what your team has done is uh, demonstrated the use of a tool. And that is what we were looking for. And you have successfully done. But having said that, of course, uh, uh, just to, uh, it's like a word of caution, that when we really do the scatter plots, uh, and uh, just because uh, this uh, program is, is being recorded, so for those who are <laughs> you know, listening to this recording, they should also know that this is just an exercise. This is not the real data. So they should not go and apply this but to if their- you want, I can show you data. If you want, I can show you data. What, no, no, what, no. no. No, no, that's I, you had generated that data, right? So we have it, that disclaimer has to be there during our projects. This is a training program. So, so this uh, uh, means this is uh, just an exercise done for uh, showing a scatter plot, and uh, I know this uh, is fantastically, fantastically done scatter plots. Okay, so uh, but in reality, you may find that uh, this uh, straight line is a little curved, and you may get an optimum temperature. If you think you may get an optimum temperature, it's going up, 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 and after that, sometimes it will go down. So that will also give you a very optimum setting. Okay, exactly. so in real life, that's how we make uh, judgments about our processes. So super, brilliantly done, absolutely fantastic. Means I'm so happy that the first project which uh, you are uh, share, your group is sharing is uh, I would say a super hit because I, uh, to, uh, I I'm so happy to see even the scatter plot in this. Very good. Next one, and that too with the new X factor. Yeah. Next one, yes. What is the box plot? Yes, tell me about it. What what is uh, what is this? It is uh, it comes under uh, it is a graph between pet production catalyst quality. We have got uh, like we have seen for everything, but catalyst quality as is depending upon pet production like quality. Hello. Yeah. 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 Please go ahead. Sir, and one more uh, like I can't say you exactly, but. Uh, the data which we are given is came like that, and I can show you like. That's uh, perfectly fine. See, the objective of this program is to teach you the tool, a box plot, and you have okay. absolutely marvelously captured the essence of the box plot with this example. So again, I would like to congratulate you and your team, and I'm sure uh, because uh, others who have done the projects, uh, because he got the uh, you know to present the project that is why i'm appreciating him a lot but i'm sure if others have also presented and project so i i just i'm actually i'm feeling so happy that uh, uh, you know this is the uh, sort of best guru dakshina you have given me like the showing the, me a project using all the tools and techniques which you learned till yesterday so that is just super marvelous and again, I'm uh, I'm so happy the future of uh, India and future of world because you we, we all belong to the world community. So future of the world is assured with this kind of talent going out in the market at the age of 19 years. You are 19, 20 years, right? Thanks a lot, sir. Sir, I'll show you the yeah. most important 
uh, which are done. I say FM, yes, sir. Please go ahead. Please go ahead. Yes. But uh, just can you please go back? Can you please go back? Uh, uh, sorry, sorry to tell you. Can you please go back? Uh, this is just for the uh, you know those who are uh, learning from this uh, uh, training. The box plot indicates that uh, the catalyst really matters. Quality of the catalyst really matters. And uh, when the quality is best, the product is higher. Yeah, that's what it means. Very good. Now go to the next next one. Uh, this is uh, important. Yeah. So what is this one? Sir, so it's a failure mode and effect analysis. OK, failure modes and effects analysis. Yeah, so would you like to explain that? So we have done it from, we have taken the data from cause and effect. And yes. uh, we discussed the, what are the fail, failure modes and uh, processes per production. Potential failure mode okay. is uh, CTQ, less production per day. Potential effect of Super. failure is uh, it would reduce the uh, profits for our company. Okay. And we are given CDRT as eight. Actually, if it, Are it has more, be, uh, your, team, your team can be recruited in a consulting company straight away. <laughs> you guys have done <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> yes, I, can be. I, we spent five, five, six days, ten, ten days teaching our uh, uh, people in the industry. And uh, we still fail to receive a proper FMEA many times. Of course, I'm not saying every time, but because uh, I know a lot of industry people will also watch this later on. <laughs> so they'll question me, but it's a fact. I'm telling you, I, 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 I've got the data. I'm the person who's conducting the training. And I've not conducted one training on 10 training, 30 training of 300. I've conducted thousands of training. I've trained really, you know, it's on record. I've trained more than... I've lost the count, but it comes to around 50,000 people. That's so great. And I can name yeah. the stage. Superb. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So can you please yeah. explain to me? Actually, can you please actually, explain to me the... Yeah. Actually, yeah. we'll get more satisfied if we go to industry and do this, uh, collect this data. And if we do this, we'll, we'll feel more satisfied. Yeah. yeah. So this is... Well, uh, it's um, based on data. But that, that I understand, but see, 90% of the job is done. Let me tell you, 90% of the job is already done because you have to just, you know, get hold of the real data. That's it. Okay, sir. I'll, uh, let me explain this. So potential cause of failures are uh, cause and effects. Uh, so we have taken... A uh, list of cause and effects uh, such as catalyst activity, temperature, number of drums, reflex ratio, etc. So, uh, occurrence that is we are given randomly, like which is uh, which is causing more effect, uh, catalyst activity and temperature, and which is causing more effect, we have just given occurrence value as uh, high. So, a uh, current controls. So, if uh, if we have any error in ca catalyst activity. So if it can be increased by increase in surface area. If we increase the surface area, we would easily get the best better catalyst activity. And uh, temperature, temperature. Mm -hmm. Some of the temperature, uh, some of the industries. One, one, one thing here. The one thing here. See, current control. The word current is important. Like, are you doing it right now? Like, for example, you are saying catalyst activity is one of the causes yes, to take care of the to improve the catalyst activity what are you doing you are are you increasing the surface area today today uh, i don't know <laughs> sorry no yeah yeah okay. i know i know that right now you're a student so i'm just uh, i'm giving you some information in real life if we are doing it today then we will write it there saying that yes we are increasing the surface area and this survey by increasing the surface area we are being successful that's what you are saying and now the detection rating has become two so that's perfectly fine yeah. please go ahead and uh, 
and temperature sir actually i don't i don't know how much time i was given but i am explaining so fastly so please uh, you please take your time don't worry don't worry other thing can wait you this is okay. important yeah tell me no problem sir and uh, number of drums can be increased by uh, usage of valves it is uh, totally depend on pressure change and okay. uh, reflex ratio use of flow inders sir uh, these are current controls or or the measures to take uh, to improve that uh, like to improve the productivity or uh, cost to just uh, overcome that cost that are the, these are the current controls to be taken i don't know like a certain yes. day or uh, whatever i I don't know about that, but no, this is system uh, related. Means if you are doing it, that means you have to mention that. So that's perfectly okay. fine. Yes. So okay. intrinsic viscosity, uh, we have to like if it is less, we we have to uh, we have to do chain polymerization effectively, and residence time mm -hmm. increasing size of the tube. So, uh, okay. And side reactions. Uh, no control we can't control if a side reactions occur we cannot control like it is not in our hands so we given no control okay. then okay fine fine it's okay so detection detection rate we have given as like if if it is uh, got if it is controlled by that uh, see if uh, suppose example for catalyst activity if we increase in surface area and got uh, we we have improved uh, uh, catalyst so if if it is improved a lot then we can give detection rate as 2 that means it it has increased a lot if it is if it is it isn't increased we can give like uh, no control like side reactions no control so are you getting that's perfect that's perfect yes thank you sir so defective equipments is uh, cause of uh, uh, we can control by regular repairing and limited staff we can uh, newly we can recruit people for training regular webinars sampling quality control etc and uh, so rpn is uh, product of cvrt occurrence and detection so if it is high like uh, most compared to all like if it is uh, which which of the parts is high temperature and reflex ratio is showing high so what are all the actions to to be taken like, uh, it is uh, affecting this affecting very high right so we have to take uh, these kind of actions like uh, for temperature upgrading control systems reflex ratio recruitment of highly experienced distillation column operators that's it yeah yeah perfectly fine so uh, very good and uh, good that you have uh, almost done a pareto analysis on that and you have taken an action on the high rpn numbers that's, that's great it, sir. thank you for giving tomorrow we'll be filling in the root causes uh, which you got from fmea and also got from pareto analysis and you will be giving the uh, solution yes, so uh, that that's really so thank you for giving me all this opportunity i feel very grateful yes. and uh, i'm stopping okay, that's that's it, we, are done. we are done till up to years okay that's fantastic so Superb! I'm so happy, you know, uh, and I, I'm just treating uh, that almost everyone has, uh, is uh, done. I, and I, there are 20, 30 projects I think you have all of you have got, uh, done, and this is just too good, and just too superb. So I would uh, rather, you know, uh, I, I'm feeling very happy. <laughs> I'm speechless. So uh, I think uh, one more thing uh, we were talking about was. Uh, uh, like we have talked about statistical tools and techniques, so we have talked about the failure modes and effects analysis. We have talked about uh, uh, the, the box plots and scatter plots, and regression equations. Uh, you know, we have done all these things. Now let us know. And let us talk about uh, something which is a, something related to change management. Okay. Actually, you are given the data for uh, range about 500 to 520, right, sir? So yesterday you have oh, yeah. given uh, some production yeah. per day. So right. uh, you are not getting like uh, what is the exact defect? Like if it is less than 500, we can consider as a defect, or else uh, like how the defect can be. So you can choose. You can choose. 
anything less than 500 is a defect or 510 is a defect you can choose sir actually uh, we have considered that uh, less than 500 as a defect okay and, that's fine uh, okay sir thank you sir Okay, Rakesh Kumar is asking, we have to show two sigma level calculations. I uh, one, I mean before him. Yeah, so you can show two sigma level calculations. Uh, now it's up to you if you want to show I, as a yellow belt. You, you know, I know you, you uh, have limited exposure to the industry and uh, whatever you have done is too good. I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> it's not glow. Why should I expect uh, too much from you? But if you want, yeah, you can show two. So imagine that improvements have taken place. And earlier you were at let's say uh, 1.5 sigma, and now you are at let's say 2 2.7 sigma, 3 sigma, or seven. yeah. So you can show sigma level two times. So okay, uh, I'll just repeat that you can define your own defect level. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, the thing is, whatever defect level you define, you need to be consistent with that. Say for example, later on before the improvement and after the improvement that should remain same that whatever defect definition you started with and you calculate naturally your defects will reduce after your improvement so it's up to you whatever you want to decide as a defect level for your project i'm talking about but in reality the defects are defined by the customer so your management will decide you'll say well you are producing less than 500 tons per day that means it's a defects we don't like it we don't like the day when you produce less than 500 tons per day that's what you are going to tell or your management is going to tell so that that's the actual defect definition but for your project you define you make a decision you it's up to you you're not going to talk about uh, or um, prescribe anything very good now let me uh, 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 so what we'll do yeah we have got now uh, 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 15 minutes remaining let's try to do as much as possible although i have got a little bit more time if you're fine we can stay a little bit more also uh, but let me quickly uh, tell you about the change management part and uh, i'm not going to go into the details of the change management in an organization because obviously all of you are students so i'll tell you something which will help you you know as a student also and when you enter into the organization you know, because all of us as an engineer, I have been a chemical engineer. I was also studying like you. Uh, 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 no, I told you I was, I used to run away from the classes. I never used to study. I used to fail in every exam. Yeah, I told you that. <laughs> okay, no, no, that's not. I used to study. I was an average student. I was a nice student, okay? So, uh, but any kind of student you are, this thing is applicable and that is what, what is that? Uh, l let us, uh, I will tell you. What is, a, I, I'm going to talk about the human brain. Okay. So how oh, uh, we behave. So this is beyond our box plots, scatter plots, regression analysis, FME, the brilliant FME Mr. Uh, uh, Murthy showed. That's just superb. But now this is a little bit beyond that. So this you also you should be master of. If you're a master of both, your FME as well as this part, which I'm going to tell you, you will be a real master. So a human brain, uh, of course, I'm in a hurry, so I'll just try to tell you as much as possible, you know. So this is a human brain, you know, let's say, I, I can divide into three parts, the human brain. Those who have studied, I'm sure everyone has studied biology till uh, school. So a nervous system, I know you have studied, don't tell me you have not studied. You have forgotten that's a different thing so this is your uh, 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 this is your spinal cord and i will name it as reptilian brain okay and this is uh, mammalian brain i'm not using the uh, scientific terms because you are now engineering student i don't want to confuse you so there are a different uh, like human brain is known as neocortex uh, and everything has got different scientific name and there's no time to discuss that so very very quickly to remember so there are three types of brains we have so a lot of activities are controlled by uh, uh, they're involuntary in nature we can't control them 
So, for example, if I throw a uh, say some stone at you, what will what will happen? Automatically, you will do something like this, isn't it? So you don't think too much. Automatically, you know, uh, you know respond immediately. So we uh, we can call it as you know uh, one. This is something like uh, you have a, a say. I can write it here. You have a stimulus, and then you. They respond automatically. It's like a software. It's written in our brain. You know, stimulus and response. Immediately it happens. If then else, those who have done programming, if then else, if this happens, this, you know, if this happens, then it should happen like this. There's a, let's say, lion in your, uh, behind you. What will happen? You will run away immediately. You will not think too much, isn't it? This is reptilian brain all reptiles have got this brain okay mammalian brain all mammals have got this brain i am not going to explain to you you are all a good engineering student i am assuming you know who is a mammal who is a reptile and who is a human being okay so mammalian brain it's related to if i had more time i would have described more about it but stimulus leads to emotions and then based on the emotions you respond okay like for example you see something like a child is a very small child is a three-year-old child is walking and suddenly he or she falls down so suddenly some emotions are triggered in you you know there are different glands in your body i think 10 glands if i remember correctly so these glands you know they trigger some hormones and they trigger hormones and there are different types of hormones i'm not going to go into the detail of that but these hormones make you feel like something and then they this feeling makes you act in a certain way so in this case like that example i was given uh giving that uh, you know, a child falls down and then once the child falls down immediately you will pick the child up but immediately you won't pick you will a little bit here and there the emotions will be triggered in you and after that you will act immediately without thinking too much isn't it that's what is mammalian brain and human brain is what human brain is only human beings have got it's very small it's still developing so you have stimulus then emotions will always be there but more importantly logic and then response so or i would rather say if i'm explaining the human brain i will eliminate this part also doesn't play much role so here, I'm just, you know, summarizing the whole thing. It's much more complicated, but the thing is I'm just summarizing. So human brain example means, you know, uh, uh, analytical brain. What will happen to me after two years? After my fi I finish my engineering after three years, what will happen to me? Only human brain, analytical brains. Two plus two is four. 4 plus 4 is 8. Failure modes and effects analysis, cause and effect diagram, box plots, scatter plots, regression analysis, y is equal to a plus bx. My pet production is equal to uh, uh, 23 plus uh, 5 times temperature plus 6 times the pressure difference plus 2.3 times the reflex ratio. All the analytic. You know? Now, mammals, they don't have this brain. Only human beings have this brain. It's a very small part here somewhere in the front. Prefrontal cortex, that sometimes it's called as. Now, only human beings have got. Now, why we are learning this? The impact on decision-making. Whatever we do as a human being, the impact of decision-making if let us say human brain uh, is uh, this much 
like analytical brain, logical brain is this much. The mammalian brain impact is much, much higher. It is not this much, not this much, but not this much. It is almost, you know, equal to the size of the room in which you are sitting now. You can imagine it's very, very large. Means 99% of the actions a human a person takes are guided by mammalian brain emotions, not the logical brain. Unfortunately, it is true, not the logical brain. Everyone knows that if you study, you will get good marks and you will get, everyone knows. All of us know, isn't it? That is logical. But what happens is, okay, let me watch this video. Ah, this is very nice. So, mammalian brain, emotions. Some examples are like uh, pictures, videos, stories, you know, colors, triggering good emotions, isn't it? Now, this new cortex, of course, there are new cortex has got two sides, left and right side. That's a, you must have heard left side is very analytical, right side is very creative. Now, this all present here that, you know, these the sessions we are like, like vision statement, how I visualize myself after five years is coming from neocortex, the, 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 the human brain, you know. So, all these things are coming from the a human brain analysis analysis uh, how i do i see myself a dog cannot think you know after five years how will i look how 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 i you know see myself after two days or five days he, he can't think like that but a student like you can definitely think so that and by the way one more important thing i i can share with the students you know this new cortex starts really vigorously developing at the age of around 12 to 13 yeah it and it develops fully develops till the age of 25 so during this time you know 12 12 age of 12 to 25 the uthal puthal hoti hai, you know? like it's like lots of things are chemical reactions are going on and there a lot of uh, you know problems keep happening so that is why always you know the the Buzurg, uh, the, the elderly people keep saying, oh, he's like, okay, teenager, he's like a college boy. You, you behave some strangely, you know, you yourself will laugh after when you become 25 onwards, you yourself will laugh at whatever you are doing today. And that happened with everyone. You don't think you are, so, so, we, we also are in the same boat. <laughs> everyone, those who are in my age, <laughs> they know that what I'm talking about. So here, what uh, uh, this is just one thing, you know, just uh, this additional thing, and it's nothing to do with our discussion here. But what is important? I told you, what is what is the impact of mammalian brain? It's real, real higher. So if I want a person to behave in a particular manner, should I tell him logically, or should I tell him? using emotions you tell me should i tell him using logically i know everyone everyone knows logically pizza is not good for my health but you eat pizza isn't it right so you should be targeting the emotions right you should be targeting emotions if i want you to make uh, behave as per my uh, uh, whatever I want you uh, work from you, I have to use emotions because you, you know, you are not going to listen. You are a human being, isn't it? You are not going to listen logic, listen to logic, any logic, 100%. So how do they like good uh, leaders? You know, they always use stories. You know, one, one good example is using mammalian brain to give a good messages, like always use stories. You know, like instead of telling you, Please do a Lean Six Sigma yellow belt training. It, you will learn logic. Uh, you will learn uh, regression analysis. You will learn how to create straight line equations. And you will learn uh, to correlate X vectors with Y vectors. All these things, you know, instead of telling like that, I will tell something else. Like, for example, there was a chemical engineering student in the year 2014 his name was sumanth sumanth is there right here 
Uh, yeah. So let me. I'm borrowing your name, Suman. Okay. Yes. So Suman was not a brilliant student. He just somehow you know could score marks enough to just pass the exam. And he used to see that everyone around him is studious and scoring good marks. After some time, he graduated and he could barely afford to just get a job, which was giving him 20,000 rupees per month. And then one of his friends advised him that why don't you, you know, upgrade yourself? Suman said, what can I do? His friend, his friend Akash told him that, well, I've completed some statistical analysis training and completed a green belt uh, training and a black belt training as well. And after that, I have done, I'm doing pretty good. I got immediately hired. And of course, my salary was almost doubled. And when Akash told this, Suman said, well, you know, I have never been a nice student and I can't uh, do this. Maybe you were able, you were always a brilliant student. Akash told, no, you can do it. And he enrolled uh, Suman into a training program at his own cost. And once Suman completed that training, of course, he uh, whatever, doubled his salary and got a great job, etc. Et so this is how if I give a message, you know, it will be more effective because I'm using a story. So what a story does is it targets your mammalian brain. It triggers emotions. If I were to make more emotions because there was no time, I would have even told. Uh, the way I would have told is Suman was a very poor student and he was almost on the verge of like giving up. He was trying to, he was almost uh, going to give up his studies and this and that. And suddenly, ladies and gentlemen, he did one thing. He did just one thing. And within three years, his salary doubled and his, he got five offers, two of them from United States, which he, which he just said no, because he wanted to stay in India, serve the country. Do you know what Suman did? He did lean and six sigma black belt. Now, all these things are depending on what kind of audiences you are having. But this is another way. I'm again targeting what the mammalian brain. Now, I could have told you the same thing that you please study these FMEA, you studied uh, regression. It will help you. It will help you gain good uh, marks and then good information. No, but until I, unless I tell Sumant and Akash story, how in the past, 2000, 5000 years since, 5000 years back, how the messages have been given uh, through stories, isn't it? All of us have heard of tortoise and rabbit story, isn't it? All of us know tortoise and rabbit cannot talk. Everyone knows. But we still keep telling each other. Once a tortoise told rabbit, rabbit told tortoise. They can't talk. They can't understand English. You know what is it? Hundred percent of stories untrue. Hundred percent. But <laughs> but everyone keeps telling. Why? You could have even told logically. Slow and steady wins the race. This is logical, but to, this is a simple logical uh, message to be driven home. You have to use that whole story of five to ten minutes. What am I doing? I'm just targeting the mammalian brain because you're not going to change. Good leaders, how they make th control thousands of people, ten thousand. Today the country is in trouble. You know, then somebody, what, what happened? What, what I need to do? Just tell me what. And then, so this is how emotions are triggered, and emotions make people work. Yeah. So this is what, you know, I just wanted to tell you. So don't ignore the part. I, I kept telling you that use photographs. Uh, of course, uh, so I, uh, you can, when you are making presentation, don't make fun of people who start, uh, uh, you know, uh, with uh, who introduce uh, 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 videos in, in their presentations, who introduce uh, uh, pictures, colors, uh, graph charts. Like, for example, use a box plot to tell that this really is responsible or pictures, the, the, the way uh, control impact metrics, the previous presentation, he used red and green. Really, he was targeting the mammalian brain. Yeah, and someone even commented that really liked that part. You know, logically, it didn't matter. 
logically high medium low i know i medium low why you're putting red green and but that's what it is so humans like that so please take that uh, okay i think that's a good uh, uh we have overshot the uh, time but uh, uh, i'm fine if if you want uh, we can uh, have 10 15 minutes more if that is that, that is uh, okay with the uh, 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 the dhawal, if that is fine, can we take 10 minutes more? Yeah, yeah please. Okay, fine. Please, please. So, yeah, yeah, I promised and some people asked me, so I will, we will definitely uh, play our game and uh, uh, let's, uh, you have al almost uh, learned up to a level of green belt and black belt, so let me play that game and uh, I hope you are seeing my screen and uh, let us very quickly all of you can give answers uh, uh, because there's lack of time, so I can't act too much. <laughs> so, but still, I'll try to do as much as possible, but uh, focus on the questions and answers. And here we go. Ah, uh, to सच्चे लीन शिक्षक मां सेनानी के तरह हर मुसीबत का सामना आप सच्चाई लगन और ईमानदारी के साथ करेंगे और ये काम ना कीजिए कि ये सारे जो टूल्स एंड टेक्निक्स जो आपने सीखे हैं ना बड़े काम की चीज होती है परेटो चार्ट और ये बॉक्स प्लॉट और स्कैटर प्लॉट और ये रिग्रेशन एनालिसिस आई ये बड़े ही काम की चीज है इनका इस्तेमाल करते हुए आप जीवन के पथ पर हमेशा आगे बढ़ेंगे और अपने आप को सफलता की सीढ़ियों पर हमेशा पाएंगे तो आइए हमर आप खेलते हैं कौन बनेगा येलो बेट और पहला प्रश्न आपके सामने ये रहा कंप्यूटर स्क्रीन पर बताइए कि इनमें से कौन सा टूल मेजर फेस के अंतर्गत नहीं आता है व्हिच इज नॉट अ डेलिवरेबल ऑफ डी मैक मेजर फेस सही जवाब आपको देगा पचास हजार रुपए और हमने देखे कि हमने देखा कि आप सब बड़े ही पक्के खिलाड़ी हैं आपने बिल्कुल सही जवाब दिया और हम आपको सब लोगों को पचास हजार रुपए बांटते हैं बहुत खुशी हो रही है आपको अब अगला प्रश्न अगला प्रश्न आपके सामने ये रहा बिल्कुल आपका सही जवाब था जीते हैं पचास हजार रुपए अगला प्रश्न आपके सामने ये रहा इनपुट टू प्रोसेस आर कॉल्ड इनपुट को किस अन्य नाम से जाना जाता है X Y out of scope और K R and R और बिल्कुल सही कहा सबने बिल्कुल आप तो भैया एक्सपर्ट लगते हैं आपको थोड़े से मुश्किल सवाल देने पड़ेंगे बड़े ही आसानी से जवाब दे रहे हैं आप लोग तो कोई बात नहीं अगला प्रश्न हम आपके सामने थोड़ा सा मैं भी अगला दूसरा तीसरा प्रश्न थोड़ा कठिन होगा आपके सामने ये प्रश्न देगा आपको तीन लाख पच्चीस हजार इसके बाद आप एक पड़ाव पार कर लेंगे कम से कम यहां से तीन लाख पच्चीस हजार रुपए लेकर जाएंगे द आउटपुट ऑफ अ प्रोसेस इज व्हाट द कस्टमर सीज आउट ऑफ स्कोप द बिग एक्स और नॉट मेजरेबल ओ बहुत सही जवाब ऑडियंस पॉल अपने अपने वोटिंग मीटर पर आपकी उंगलियां बिल्कुल सही तरीके से और इसमें से सौ जनता समझती है कि इसका उत्तर होना चाहिए ए, क्या करना चाहेंगे आप लॉक किया जाए ए को लॉक किया जाए कंप्यूटर जी ए पर ताला लगाया जाए देखना यह है कि सही उत्तर है या नहीं ये और बिल्कुल सही जवाब आप देते हैं दस लाख रुपए अगला प्रश्न आपके सामने ये रहा आपके स्क्रीन पर विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द प्रोसेस यूजिंग बेसिक टूल्स टू रिड्यूस प्रोसेस वेरिएशन Now, basic tool, process mapping, PM means process mapping, CE means cause and effect, and uh, SOP means standard operating procedure. So, basic tool, kaun sa hona chahiye? Pareto se bhi pehle jo aata hai. Agar aap prashn, uh, iska uttar aapko pata nahi hai, ya sure nahi hai, iske baare mein, to aap lifeline ka istamal kar sakte hai. Yaha pe expert baithe huwa hai, Anil sahab, unse poo sakte hai. So, Anil sahab, ye आपसे एक्सपर्ट ओपिनियन लेना चाहेंगे अनिल जी बताइए कि अनिल एनएक्सस हमारी कंपनी में 
नामी मास्टर ब्लैक बेल्ट हैं और इस समय वो रियाद में स्टेशन है सो अनिल जी जरा सामने आइए और बताइए कि इसका उत्तर क्या होना चाहिए सी सर सी ओके अनिल जी मैं डायग्राम स्टैंडर्ड ऑपरेटिंग प्रोसीजर ओके सो क्या करना चाहेंगे आप अपना उत्तर बदलना चाहेंगे बिल्कुल सही जवाब सी बिल्कुल ताला लगाया जाए और बिल्कुल सही जवाब आप जीतते हैं पचास लाख रुपए और अगला प्रश्न देगा आपको एक करोड़ रुपए आप इसका उत्तर तो आपको कम से कम सही में देना चाहिए क्योंकि आपको इसका हिंट पिछले प्रश्न में मिल गया था तो अब बिल्कुल निशा जी कहती है लॉक की जाए लॉक किया जाए हाँ बिल्कुल अभी हम उसका इस्तेमाल करेंगे चलिए ठीक है उस जुमले का इस्तेमाल किया जाएगा अगले प्रश्न में तो बताइए कि इसका उत्तर होना क्या होना चाहिए बिल्कुल सही ओहो बी तो आप बी लॉक किया जाए कंप्यूटर जी बी को ताला लगाया जाए और देखिए कि ये सही जवाब ओ ये आपने बिल्कुल सही जवाब दिया आप जीतते हैं दो करोड़ रुपए और अगला प्रश्न ये हमने थोड़ा कठिन है तो हम आपको थोड़ा आगे बढ़ाएंगे क्योंकि ये येलो बेल्ट के लिए नहीं है ये ग्रीन बेल्ट और ब्लैक बेल्ट के लिए है लेकिन दे, बताइए देखते हैं कि इसका सही उत्तर हमारे पास अगर आप लोग दे सकते हैं तो बताइए कि इनमें से कौन से दो तरह के स्टैटिस्टिकल प्रॉब्लम्स होते हैं टू टाइप्स ऑफ स्टैटिस वी आर नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट टू टाइप्स ऑफ डेटा नॉट टू टाइप्स ऑफ डेटा टू टाइप्स ऑफ स्टैटिस्टिकल प्रॉब्लम सो इसका उत्तर रोहित जी आदित्य अंकिता और राकेश और वैभव और जयंत और हर्षा और सृष्टि ने बिल्कुल सही जवाब दिया इसका उत्तर होना चाहिए डी प्रत्युषा बाल योगेश अभिषेक अरे अभिषेक जी भी हैं क्या इधर आए हैं हाँ अभिषेक भाई मैं अमिताभ हूँ जरा ध्यान रखिए <laughs> रोहित गिवन परफेक्ट राइट आंसर एंड दैट इज डी मींस मीन और वेरिएशन मीन एंड स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन बोथ कैन बी ओके एनीवे दिस वी हैव नॉट डिस्कस्ड बट लेट मी चेंज द ऑप्शन लेट मी चेंज द ऑप्शन इफ आई वर टू आस्क यू अ क्वेश्चन दैट आई वांट टू सी वेदर माय पेट प्रोडक्शन is impacted by the shifts i'm working in morning shift afternoon shift and in night shift is my pet production affected by the shift if i want to uh, you know measure that uh, which tool i will use which graphical tool i will use so should i use a scatter plot or should i use box plot or should i use a pareto chart or should i use a histogram ये प्रश्न आपको देगा पंचकोटि महामणि पांच करोड़ का और आप तो बिल्कुल भाई बहुत ही इंटेलिजेंट लगते हैं भाई कहां सी कौन सी बैच आ गई है ये मतलब पूरे साठ सत्तर सही क्वेश्चन अस्सी श्रीजा कृति अश्लेषा सृष्टि और माय गॉड एवरीवन सुमंत यू नो एवरीवन हैज गिवन द राइट आंसर रोहित uh aakriti uh, and uh, you know oh i i can't even read so many <laughs> that's super super so very brilliant and great uh, 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 good job done and it is uh, indeed box plot and but uh, again okay kyun lagta kyun lagta hai aapko ki box plot hona chahiye ab uska aap uttar likhiye zara yahan par chat box mein tab tab hi hum aan manenge ki bhaiya aapko kuch aaya hai कि क्यों लगता है आपको कि ये चैट सॉरी चैट बॉक्स में लिखिएगा कि क्यों लगता है आपको कि ये बॉक्स प्लॉट होना चाहिए क्योंकि आदित्य ने लिखा डेटा इज डिस्क्रीट और रोहित ने लिखा एट्रीब्यूट लेकिन भाई पूरा उत्तर दीजिएगा पूरा उत्तर बिल्कुल आदित्य श्रीवास्तव जी ने पूरा उत्तर अनन्या श्रीवास्तव जी जी ने पूरा उत्तर दिया कि एट्रीब्यूट एंड कंटिन्यूस डेटा रिलेशनशिप वेरी वेरी नाइसली पुट अप देयर सो अनन्या जी बहुत बहुत बधाई हो आपको और आप एक पहले महिला खिलाड़ी बनती हैं दस करोड़ यहाँ से जीत कर इस सीजन में जीत कर जाने के लिए बहुत बहुत बधाई देते हैं हम आपको श्रुति ने भी बिल्कुल जरा सेकंड्स के बाद बिल्कुल सही जवाब दिया था और 
बहुत अब ये बताइए कि आप दस करोड़ रुपए का करेंगे क्या ओके अगला प्रश्न इफ यू वांट टू स्टडी वेदर योर टेम्परेचर इन द रिएक्टर इज अफेक्टिंग द कैटलिस्ट परफॉर्मेंस ओके टेम्परेचर यू वांट टू स्टडी द कैटलिस्ट परफॉर्मेंस विद द टेम्परेचर so which tool catalyst performance how are you going to uh, let's say catalyst performance is high medium and low if that is the case so catalyst performance versus uh, is, is is the catalyst performance getting affected by the temperature so what i would be using and uh, 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 yes so we have got some uh, अन्ना मलाई ने नो नो किशोर कुमार जी ने बिल्कुल सही उत्तर दिया है एंड यस वी हैव गॉट हु एल्स हैज गिवन द राइट आंसर लेट मी सी हम्म किशोर हैज गिवन द राइट आंसर विपुल कारेकर हैज गिवन द राइट आंसर एंड यू हैव टू टेल व्हाई व्हाई विपुल व्हाई इट शुड बी बॉक्स प्लॉट or anova yeah why it should be because it is continuous versus continuous is temperature and attribute is uh, catalyst performance yes now uh, another one is my temperature is affecting the production per hour of the polyethylene terephthalate chips is it affecting so in this case it should be as yes so all, almost everyone nitin jayant uh, ankita and uh, sathi and uh, shruti and uh, meghna madhur everyone has given oh everyone has given the uh, right answer scatter plot and uh, beyond scatter plot what you can use apart from a scatter plot one more tool you can use for that फास्टेस्ट फिंगर फर्स्ट में देखना ये कि किसने सही जवाब देंगे बिल्कुल रिग्रेशन बहुत बढ़िया सो वी कैन डू रिग्रेशन सिंपल रिग्रेशन और मल्टीपल रिग्रेशन उमंग यस यू आर राइट साधना यू आर राइट एंड बिजी कांता यू आर आल्सो राइट एंड ऑलमोस्ट ओ सो सो मेनी अश्लेषा इज आल्सो राइट सो ओके वेरी गुड ओके वेरी नाइस सो आई थिंक वी हैव वी हैव लर्नड इनफ Uh, for attribute and attribute you can use uh, uh, different techniques like one is pareto chart another is you can use uh, uh, chi square test of course uh, as a yellow belt i have not taught you all these things but in future kabhi phir mulakat hogi kisi aur mode par kahin na kahin kisi mode par hum aap se zarur milenge tab tak ke liye hai jo aaj aayenge na no it's not like that so i think uh, uh, what uh, uh, i would i think uh, uh, i would say that i, I would invite you to uh, uh, attend our green belt sessions uh, i uh, i am starting a green belt session this uh, saturday and sunday so uh, not not this saturday but in future at, at any point of time just connect with me and uh, uh, i'll be happy to travel uh, if you can uh, yeah. uh, from here no. yes sir uh, thanks a lot agar sir i think everybody enjoyed uh, on monica trout today and we are lucky we are having professor pede and uh, i think many of uh, uh, were not able to figure out i think uh, many people from heavy water board also joined in and i am receiving continuous messages that they have joined in the session so uh, uh, i think professor pede uh, let me introduce uh, professor pede actually uh, he is the past president of iicc and uh, like uh, because he has played a key, key role to get uh, because of which amitabh sir and uh, professor hayavarna is here today <laughs> so he is from kolkata uh, basically from jadavpur university and uh, thank you in this good afternoon rather good evening afternoon. i have been seeing amitabh ji whether he is amitab saksana or amitab bachchan i don't know <laughs> at the outset i must thank dhawal 
for asking me to be here in the midst of the students and uh, this was the course and i think there are many more viewers who are the present president council member as well as past president past council members of the iicc at the same time there are some course coordinators and uh, speakers particularly of this course lean six sigma yeah. and as has been mentioned by dhawal it was thought of in the year 2015 16 we discussed at the link in our iicc council what we can do for the prosperity of the chemical engineering professionals in the industry in 2017 we decided that we should go, go for some programs for the development of the awareness about the undergraduate chemical engineering students about the lean six sigma and also we would introduce some certification course for as you have heard from different speaker of this course that green belt yellow belt black belt master black belt and there is another term white belt i don't know i am a master i am not a master of this subject that much i can frankly tell you but what we did think in 2015 16 and 17 now i am very very happy to see that that has been materialized and that course has been introduced in the osip 2020 program conducted by indian institute of chemical for almost one and half hour what a fantastic presenter he is very entertaining and stimulating lecture he delivered during last two hours i was overwhelmed with his mode of delivery and i am sure the students have been much more benefited with these lectures as i told in one occasion that highest chemical engineer learner professional chemical engineering learner uh, in the country as on date and he happens to be alumnus of nit raurkela now you have heard the speakers particularly mr amitabh sachana how the chemical engineers in their professional chemical uh, career they can advance themselves to the highest level of the institution by getting some training etc basically as chemical engineer we should take care of the primary objective is to see the quality of product quality of service quantity of the product at this uh, giving rise to the effective cost utilization and maximum profit to the organization so this is this lean six sigma as you have heard this is one statistical based approach which is very much useful and i have sure i am sure every one of you have been, everyone in the audience have been immensely benefited by this program thank you baba thank you dabo thank you Thank 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 you, sir. Hey, Thank you, sir. So, so nice you. Of you. Many, many thanks, Amitabh ji. Thanks, thanks a lot, uh, Day Sahab, uh, for your kind words, and uh, it was a pleasure. <laughs> it was really good, uh, to. Uh, I, I, I remember myself. I joined as an as a student member in, uh, and I was studying in LIT in uh, 1986. I think I joined uh, as a student member. And uh, I, I was like very, uh, yeah, like in Nagpur, yes, yes. <laughs> so, oh, okay. so, uh, so I, 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 it's so nice to you know go back to those people uh, like who are again student members of ISCG, and uh, you know I'm remembering myself. I am also are, become a student. You are feeling a little bit nostalgic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, with them I became a student. <laughs> I, I forgot that uh, I have grown up. <laughs> so, okay. So it was really real fun, you know, with the uh, students. I felt like I have also become now 21 year old, you know. Okay, Ruby na, Ruby na, yes, okay. Salil, very good. Yes. <laughs> good, good. Three days and a special thanks for making it today.
and uh, blessing us all keep blessing uh, us thank you so, for all the speakers and all the student participants yeah and thanks bede sahab aapne jo initiate kiya tha uski wajah se aaj main yahan hu to bahut achhi baat hai bahut pehle contact kiya tha 3 4 saal pehle lekin pata nahi kuch materialize nahi ho raha tha in final year hmm well i am happy to see you as speaker in the program wait your your is like four five years back i think we had thought and i don't know kept like kya hua lekin ab ja ke phali bhut hua to it is really nice <laughs> and finally good to see you also there aapka jo ek sapna jo tha wo saakar hua aaj to ha it was dream They... not only me it was a hmm. dream of the feel at that point of time yeah. must have yeah. होता है हर चीज के लिए वक्त लगता है मे बी दीज वर द लकी स्टूडेंट टू गेट द फर्स्ट बैच गुड इवनिंग सर आई बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट मोर देन एनीथिंग क्लास वाज वाज एंटरटेनिंग प्लस इंफॉर्मेटिव सर दैट वाज अ वेरी बिग प्लस ऑल गॉड Amitabh sir became Amitabh Bachchan ji in between and entertain all of us, giving us information all together. That was, I mean, usually to break the ice between the faculty and the student, it is very difficult on a social on a on a web platform. But uh, Amitabh sir did it beautifully by engaging everybody and conducting quiz in the last class. I mean, it 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 takes learning to a new level. I mean, I never expected the. Uh, any faculty to be so easy going and uh, freely moving that was really really special and and learning every single day we got to learn every single concept of six sigma properly in a very organized fashion that was really amazing sir so thank you amitabh sir and also hi vardhana sir who in the initial stages gave us this valuable yes. time and lots of informative sessions by hi vardhana sir also and sir dhawal sir you organized all of it a big thanks to you sir uh, uh, you are really blessed too <laughs> rather than you okay uh, thank you sir thank you okay okay yeah so sir thanks thanks a lot thanks vinit thank you uh, so it was a very great experience actually the, like uh, i'd heard about six sigma before but like uh, this a uh, course like give me an idea about what it actually is uh, thank you dhawal sir for all your help sir and hi vadana sir and amitab sir sir amitab sir the last word about konvana karodpati was really awesome the ni- very nice idea thank you sir yeah, we can play it actually <laughs> on our good classroom <laughs> <laughs> we can okay, we can uh, organize the real cbc session after some time probably yeah we can i can sponsor something for the real mm-hmm. play money so uh, it was a really good experience you uh, you really made the an online class really interactive and that i was pretty surprised like the online the online class was also very interactive and that was a very nice thing i liked about this usually online classes don't become so interactive and it's a disadvantage but you use uh, you didn't uh, let us feel this as a disadvantage so thanks thanks you sir nisha thanks uh, thanks a lot uh, good af- good evening sir and um, i frankly speaking my experience with online class was not this much good and i am pretty surprised we in what way we have all the things covered up starting from the hi varna sir to you amita sir it was really different to be precise and the way everyone told our kon banega karodpati was so much interactive and i really want to do it again this whole course if possible and dhawal sir you are awesome totally 
because of without your support i don't think we we all can be here together right now speaking with each other so once again sir very thank you for doing all the stuff and yeah pleasure actually you all are so good actually so uh, it makes me energized you know that uh, everybody is uh, answering you know most of the doubts and trying to settle it before it reaches me or sometimes even amitab sir so that is the beautiful part yeah i think uh, shreya uh, you are yeah, i think see shreya for a long time shreya laduri can you hear us shreya um yes sir it was a very nice experience with the six sigma course with thai vadana sir and amitab sir teaching us everything it was a really nice experience thank you so much so this is okay i think we have spoken <laughs> sir i have attended yeah. various seminars over the internet but this was literally a different experience it was quite learning we have gained more than what we expected earlier when i have joined this course i was not able to i was not knowing what is six sigma but after uh, uh, attending this session i want to get certified with the green belt uh, and black belt also because it was indeed a best experience that i can uh, say uh, till now and i'm also thankful to the dhawal sir because he has helped us all of uh, with all of his resources and whatever he can and also thankful to the hi vanna sir who has helped us uh, during the earlier sessions of this uh, intention i think from hello sir you so no sir i'm from delhi sir delhi okay great uh, to be honest i didn't hear, i haven't heard about six sigma before the session to be honest i thought it would be just like another chemical engineering course like mechanical operation but <laughs> i actually liked it uh, i'm i just want to do business in the future so it was very helpful to have a set of skills like you know you can use in future and all it was very helpful sir and so like this session was very much interactful sir thank you amit sir thank you double sir Uh, first of all uh, hello everyone and i am krishna thanks a lot for this opportunity uh, to give uh, to go to get into platform and uh, i really appreciate uh, mr amtab sir and ayodhana um, sir uh, to give this uh, wonderful course and amtab uh, sir seriously your course was really <coughs> amazing and entertaining that is the best part of uh, our six sigma and thanks a lot for this and uh, that's it i i have i have got uh, no i have got to know about uh, much more about six sigma and um, i feel very pleased to share this like uh, I, i really appreciate uh, isch to uh, get get into this platform and uh, i feel i feel really glad about this thanks a lot for giving this opportunity oh good evening everyone um first of all uh, i would like to thank all the faculties involved uh, in this program especially uh, mr amitab saxena for his support and the interaction which i had personally it made things interesting you know because i am not a person who is like interested in attending classes and stuff uh, but the interactions and the classes uh, the way he conducted it it made it really interesting and not and not or it's not just my personal opinion i attended this program with all my friends so and they also liked this and uh, that's about it and i would like to thank each and every one of you present here uh, for this great experience thank you we talk about lot uh, about this program and uh, how it is started and uh, um, for the students i am always uh, i will always talk for the students uh, really it needs lot of energy dedication and devotion to start any mission and when it is a honorary mission then it becomes too difficult or uh, but nothing is difficult okay aur main hamesha bachchon se yahi bolta hu ki अपने मन में एक विश्वास रखना चाहिए कि मन में है विश्वास हम होंगे कामयाब ओके और 
जब इस एनर्जी के साथ हम अपने यज्ञ में अपनी यात्रा में आगे जाएंगे तो मंजिल पे जरूर पहुंचेंगे ओके और एक छोटे से दो लाइनों के साथ मैं खत्म करता हूं कि मंजिल पे पहुंचा नहीं हूं मैं मंजिल पे पहुंचा नहीं हूं मैं पर मंजिल से कह दो राह में ठहरा नहीं हूं मैं आऊंगा जरूर पहुंचूंगा ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच सर फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग मी द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू डू दिस कोर्स एंड Uh, being a ceo sir is so humble to uh, provide us this lessons and uh, sir is so interactive that he has uh, also given the linkedin link also to an uh, interact with him and dhawal sir is uh, i can't say he is really so much matlab helpful he is really matlab always says that he will keep in touch with always with us and um, um, be in the whatsapp group always interact with the students and really we are the so much grateful to have this teachers yeah uh, hello sir hello so first of all it's a huge pleasure uh, to have a huge guidance from you all sir the world sir without you uh, we can't even imagine this huge uh, number of members uh, with coming under guidance of amitav sir amitav sir uh, i just got a overall uh, change in my opinion like future opinion of uh, career from your first video that six sigma that initial video of uh, two hours i just thought oh, how could i even see a two and a half hours video that that must be a boring thing but it it doesn't i, I don't know when i started and when it ended so actually it's uh, wow it looks like i just uh, i just took off uh, took from a rocket and went from a moon in just two or three seconds so wow uh, huge inspiration so the whole video and the whole yeah. I, 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 I'm out of words. Uh, this whole uh, Six Sigma program, this management uh, has a total change in uh, change my opinion of this uh, future career choices, and just saw a lot of uh, good uh, faculties. Hi, Vadana sir, also helped a lot. Uh, there was a guidance, and he, uh, every members are so help uh, helpful and uh, just attending all the messages at any time. Uh, it looks like a connected thing and helping each other it's a, a great opportunity and one time like one time so this can't be I, i don't know i can get this ever again but this is a lifetime opportunity and i grabbed it i i think i just need to thank that for that first of all thanks for ichi for this such a beautiful course and thank you sir for this beautiful guidance sir without you it's not not even possible thanks a lot sir